So we'll first remove the primer bulb retainer. And underneath that is a special pink rubber valve within a black plastic metering diaphragm cover. And under the metering diaphragm cap is of course the metering diaphragm and the metering diaphragm gasket. And that leaves us now with the metering system itself, which is here. Removing that now reveals the fuel pump diaphragm and its gasket. And that's pretty much it for the primer bulb system. So we've got the fuel pump gasket, then we've got the fuel pump diaphragm, then we've got the metal metering system, then we've got the metering gasket, and then we've got the metering diaphragm, then we've got the metering diaphragm cap with the special rubber valve, then we've got the primer bulb and its retainer. So that's simply the sequence of the components. There's nothing more complicated than that. But what if one might say, well, what if I take this apart and then I put the gaskets and the diaphragms on the wrong way round? That's quite difficult to do as well. As long as you've got the sequence of what goes where, it's difficult to put the components on the wrong way round. And that's because if you take a look at the gasket as I'm putting it on, there are two holes at the end of the gasket and they go on to the two raised points onto the body of the carburettor. And when you look at the cutouts within the gasket, you can see they match that on the carburettor body. And it's the same story with the diaphragm. The two holes at the end of the diaphragm go over the two raised points. And if you tried to put this on upside down, then the cutouts wouldn't match the cutouts on the carburettor body and the gasket underneath it. It's exactly the same story with the metering system. There's two holes at the bottom that fit over the two raised points that the gasket and the diaphragm just did. It's the flat side that touches the diaphragms and it would be difficult to go wrong there. So in comes next the metering gasket. That's got two holes again in it and that sits on the raised points on the carburettor's body. And again you couldn't get this the wrong way around because on the opposite side there's a hole which again matches a hole on the body. And the metering diaphragm just the same. The holes on the end of that are placed over the raised points. And then it's the same with the plastic metering cover. And then with the primer bulb sufficiently within the retainer, the retainer is then placed on top with the extended part of the retainer facing in the opposite direction outwards away from the fuel pipe's inlet and outlet. So there's probably less components to the primer bulb system than what you might have originally thought.